rescue was successfully carried out 11 trapped miners out of a collapsed mine shaft in southwest China's Yunnan province at around 10 past 1 today morning. All 11 have been sent to local hospitals for treatment and the cause of the accident is still under investigation. At least 13 people were killed yesterday when Somalia's Al-Shabaab Islamatist group drove and left a car packed with explosives at the gate of a hotel. Al-Shabaab frequently launches bomb and gun attacks in the capital in its bid to topple Somalia's Western-backed government. The death toll from Saturday's Saudi-led airstrike on the central Yemenite city of Taiz rose to 80 people with at least 150 people injured. A coalition of Arab states has been bombarding Iran and allied Houthi forces in Yemen since late March in a bid to reinstate President Abdurrahman Mansur Hadi. Persistent torrential downpours hit Beihai City, South China's Guangxi Zhuang Autonomous Region, flooding streets and disrupting traffic. Vehicles and pedestrians had to wade through the flooded streets as local water draining staff hurried to discard accumulated water. Some Turkish locals living in Karakamas began leaving their homes on Sunday early after hearing that the Islamic State might launch an offensive from the Syrian town of Jarabulus across the border. Several families left the town after midnight, citing security concerns.